Welcome to another episode of Meet the Ocean. We are an educational nonprofit dedicated to sharing the saltwater story. And I am your host, Paul North. Today, something begins that I've been wanting to start for a long time. Today, we begin a new series called Invertebrate of the Month. If anyone thinks that that is ridiculous, just know that we do these things on purpose. Honestly, I've spent so much time underwater with small creatures, you know, the ones clinging upside down on the kelp or or shuffling through the mud, that I can't help but see that they are living out their lives just like we are, and usually more colorfully and creatively than we ever imagined. So... Because of this, every month, Meet the Ocean is going to feature a new invertebrate so that you can get a sense of what it's like in the day of a fill-in-the-blank. Ryazoan, Nudibrank, Hydroid, Sponge. You know, the list really, no, really, it, it goes on. But today, we begin with a seasonally appropriate creature. <clears throat> The Christmas tree worm. But before we do, a reminder of some of our outreach programs. Our fundraiser Antarctica in Motion features a living sculpture of 12 young acrobats from the Nevada Rhythmic Academy with limited edition prints for sale and other items to raise funds for our 501c3 nonprofit. Our film Winter in Antarctica is a perfect evening with the family to learn about the Southern Ocean ecosystem and witness how Las Vegas performed for their planet. Lastly, our Penguin Pen Pal program is the perfect stocking stuffer. Individual items like an Antarctic card game and penguin stickers are also available. It's a special time of year and an extra special time to support those who creatively work to share the science and conservation needs of our oceans. You can always find more underwater creatures, podcasts, and ways to donate on our website, meettheocean.org. And now, for our very first Invertebrate of the Month. Pardon me a moment. I just have to wiggle out of my tube. Ah, there. Well, what do you think about my tube? It's a very nice tube I, I built myself. You, you might even call it my home, because I live there. Anyhow, I should probably introduce myself. I am a worm. <laughs> but before you go on thinking that I wriggle or that I'm slimy, you just hold on a second, because, well, firstly, I am a marine worm. You know what that means, yes? Secondly, out of the 7,000 or so worms on planet Earth, I am the Christmas tree worm. Feel free to cue the holiday music. Now, let's make something absolutely clear. I do not eat Christmas trees. I just happen to look like one. Or at least that's what the scientist who who named me said. Personally, I have never seen one, but I hear they only come in one color. (laughs) Whereas we Christmas tree worms can be several different colors. We're talking blue, yellow, even orange. It's really as fancy as fancy gets. Spirobronchus giganteus is my scientific name. But, compared to an actual Christmas tree, I'm, unfortunately, quite small. Only an inch or so. When I am hungry, which, let's face it, is always, I come out of my tube and reach out my many hair-like appendages to grab whatever might be floating on by. I'm not really all that picky. I do like plankton the best, though, the just so tasty, and the smaller the better. Seriously, though, when you are talking about worms, it really boils down to whether or not they are segmented. 
and I am happy to tell you that I am. The fancy way to say this for a worm is to call it a polychaet. And this polychaet loves to burrow into coral. It makes for the perfect residence. I pop out when I'm hungry. I can hide in the tube if a fish comes by and tries to bite me. It's all very convenient. Now, as, as far as this whole invertebrate of the month thing goes, why would you pay attention to anyone but us? There are enough variety of Christmas tree worms for every month. Probably even a different color for every month. We, we could make a calendar. <laughs> why, why does no one else seem excited by this? Ugh, humans. Anyway, I, I think what Meet the Ocean is doing to teach land people about our invertebrate community is rather quite cool. And you should support them, even if it's just a small monthly donation. And have you seen that human wave they did with all those acrobats? I can't bend that way, and I don't even have a spine. Apparently, there is something called a website you should check out. And I'm supposed to finish by saying, until next time, may the salt water be with you. But I am a Christmas tree worm after all. So I will not leave this conversation without saying to you and to all of your loved ones, a happy holiday from Meet the Ocean to all. Meet the Ocean is produced by Paul North and Andrew Gettings, with sound design by me, Kelsey Anderson. Special thanks to Jordan Kohler for providing original music. Two new pieces of news to share. One, Meet the Ocean has a new podcast studio. Many thanks to Portland, Oregon's Ned Space co-working community and Mark Grimes for giving our podcast host, Paul, place to record silly voices. Secondly, we are proud to announce that our nonprofit founder has been accepted into the International Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences. Such an honor. I wonder what our invertebrate of the month would look like on the red carpet. Hmm. While I ponder that funny image, please like, subscribe, follow, and share our Meet the Ocean social media feeds. We are a listener-supported nonprofit, and this helps us get the word out about ocean conservation. On behalf of all of us at Meet the Ocean, we wish you a wonderful holiday and Happy New Year. See you in 2022.